In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the number line tool in the WebAssign GraphPad. To use the number line tool, we're going to choose from a variety of line options. The three options you see in the line tool are first, a line segment, second, a line going in both directions, and third, a ray, which has a point on one end and an arrow on the other end. The other option we're going to use to graph inequalities on a number line is to choose the type of endpoint we'd like. We have two choices. We have a closed circle and an open circle. You won't see this endpoint tool until you've chosen either a line segment or a ray. There are several different ways to express an inequality, and so in your problem you might see any one of the following which represent the same thing. x is greater than 3. You may also see set notation, the set of x values such that x is greater than 3, or interval notation, this is the interval from 3 to infinity, not including 3. All three of these mean the same thing, and there are two ways that these can be graphed. You may see this graphed on a number line with the parentheses on the 3, and then a ray continuing on to the right. You may also see this graph with an open circle at 3 and a ray continuing to the right. It's the second method that we use in the WebAssign GraphPad. To graph this particular ray, we would first choose the ray option, and then we would choose an open circle for the endpoint. Notice that the only difference between the inequality x is greater than 3 and the inequality x is greater than or equal to 3 when we graph is a parentheses versus a bracket and an open circle endpoint versus a closed circle endpoint. To graph both of these, we start with the ray option and then choose the appropriate endpoint. Let's see this in action. Let's graph the inequality x such that x is less than or equal to 0. We're going to choose the ray option, start with the endpoint, which is at 0, and then we want to choose the x values that are less than or equal to 0. Now, to get this to stick, we have to put a point somewhere to the left of 0. It doesn't matter where you stick that point. If you click outside of the line, you can see its final form, which is a ray at 0 continuing to the left. In this case, we want that to be a closed circle endpoint, but notice that we can just click on it to toggle it back and forth, or in editing mode, we can toggle it back and forth down here by choosing either an open or a closed circle endpoint. It's always a good idea to click outside your graph to make sure that the final form is indeed what you want it to look like. Another type of inequality you may be asked to graph is a compound inequality. Compound inequalities can be written in many different ways, as in this example here. This is an inequality that shows x values between negative 4 and positive 2. We graph this on a number line by showing the interval between negative 4 and positive 2 with a line. On each end of that line, we can put a parentheses. This shows that we are not including the values negative 4 and 2. The way we do this with circle endpoints is with an open circle on each side of the interval. To graph this in WebAssign, we would choose the line segment option and then choose an open endpoint on both sides. We want to graph the x values such that x is greater than 5, intersected with the x values such that x is less than or equal to 8. So we're going to start by choosing the line segment tool. We start at a value of 5 and continue to a value of 8. Now we need to change the endpoints to match the compound inequality that we're graphing. In particular, if we were to stop right now, we have closed endpoints on both ends. This is the default setting. What we want is an open endpoint on the 5. Again, there are two ways to do this. One is to simply click on it and toggle it the other way. Or, while you're in the editing mode, you can change the endpoints down in the Object Properties window. So I can change this endpoint on 5 to be an open circle. Again, clicking outside of your graph is a good way to make sure it is exactly the way you want it to look before you submit it for grading. There's one more type of possibility we could have when we graph compound inequalities, and that's inequalities that use an OR, or a union symbol. If we want to graph x is less than 0 or x is greater than or equal to 4, the resulting graph is going to actually consist of two rays. 
To graph this using WebAssign, we're going to choose Array, graph this side, change our endpoint to be open, and then choose Array again, graph this side, and leave that endpoint closed. We need to solve the compound inequality 2x is less than negative 4 or x over 2 is greater than 4. If we solve for x in each case, we get x is less than negative 2 and x is greater than 8. This is going to require us to graph two rays. First, the ray to show that x is less than negative 2. Again, we use a second point to tell the ray which direction to go. So far, my graph looks like this. Now I do need an open circle on that, so I'm just going to click once to toggle an open circle. And that's what it looks like now. That's only half the graph. I need another ray to graph x is greater than 8. Again, clicking a second point to tell the ray which direction to go. And again, I need to click on the closed circle to toggle that to an open circle endpoint. And now this graph is ready to be submitted. Let's look at one more example. In this case, when we solve the second inequality, we get x is less than 3. And so we have two inequalities to put together. x is greater than 0, which looks like this, and x is less than 3, which looks like this. Now, we have overlapping rays, and we're looking at a union of those two rays. And so, really, what we have is the entire number line. And so, instead of two overlapping rays, I need to use one line that indicates the entire number line is used. So I'm going to clear all of this, and so I want to use the line option. Again, to tell it that you want the line option, you have to give it two points. So here's a starting point, and I want it to go in this direction. Clicking outside, you can see that all that does is create a line that extends in both directions. And now I could submit this as a solution. If you ever encounter a case where you want to have no solution as an option, just choose the No Solution button down here.